Joining us now from ABC's The Muppets, please welcome Scooter and the incomparable Miss Piggy. Hi, Miss Piggy. Hi, Scooter. Hey! Hi, Ross. What an exciting time for the two of you. First of all, you're back in prime time. Miss Piggy, tell us about this new series. Well, uh, the new series, The Muppets, which is what we're talking about here, is actually a behind the scenes look at the making of my talk show up late with Miss Piggy. Yeah, mm -hmm. so the cameras are following us all around, through the halls, backstage, everywhere we go, even home, um, to, to see what we're up to. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a show within a show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Scooter, what's your role in all this? Oh, well, uh, I'm the, uh, the talent coordinator, so I'm, I book all the guests to appear on uh, Up Late with Miss Piggy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a challenging job, um, but, you know, I'm up for the task. And yeah, uh, I've, yeah. booked some, I've booked some pretty yeah, good a, guests, I have to say. Yeah. Uh, Reese Witherspoon is coming on the show, mm -hmm. which was a huge get for us because she's a big, big, big yeah, star. It's, it's not that big. Maybe, maybe two bigs, she, not three. You, well, she, well, I think the big, 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 you kind of got to go three eh, and make the them big. Big, big is enough for her. Well, I don't know. And she, she won an Academy Award, so, uh, which is a great thing, I thought. I didn't yeah, realize yeah. that that would be an issue. So yeah, apparently, yeah, that's an issue. Apparently, it's an issue. Reese Witherspoon, she's a big name and a great talent, but Miss Piggy, Reese Witherspoon is one of those you're bumping heads with this season. How come? Yeah, well, she won an Academy Award. Just to make me jealous. Kind of a heated rivalry. Yeah. Now, the executive producer of your show is Kermit, Dan. We'll get to your relationship and what's been happening with you guys in a moment. But first, Kermit asked you to go easy on Reese Witherspoon. So why don't you listen to him? Biggie, will you please not try to build a house with Reese? You're doing this for all the wrong reasons. No, I'm not. I'm doing this to show up Reese in front of the press. But that's a, a perfect reason. No, it's a perfect reason. Ooh. Say it. Absolutely not. All right, I'll say it for you then. Uh, a perfect reason. Uh, See, I knew you'd come around. Well, thanks for stopping uh, by. Always a pleasure. Piggy. Uh, you might have gotten a little competitive with Reese, maybe. There was a little bit of competition. Yeah, well, maybe. You, she needs to know that she can't just go out there and, 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 and win Academy Awards. Okay? Okay. All right, Miss Piggy, we all know that you and Kermit have officially broken up and are dating other people. What's it been like for you? It's been great. I've been having a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm going out on a date just about every night. Yeah, it's, and, and I am having fun. <laughs> a lot more fun than, than Kermit, that's for sure. I mean, he's, for some reason, he's, he's dating uh, this, this, this girl. Denise. Denise. Yeah. Yeah. And he's never been happier, by the way. He is <laughs> yeah, just. That's, that's what? what he tells you. No, no, I can see it in his <laughs> eyes. His little froggy um, eyes. He's you know got what? that glint back. He's, he's the one who should have won an Academy Award, not Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> hmm. I mean, come on. You know, Scooter, you really are a good egg. You keep an eye on Miss Piggy. You're loyal to Kermit. You're really a good guy. Oh, what that is so. Did you hear that? Did you hear what? Did you hear that? Are you? Are, are oh, you thank dating, you so are you much. dating his mother? Wow. Or something? Are you what? Ken? I heard no. about you. So what can we expect throughout the season for Up Late with Miss Piggy and the Muppets in general? I, I will if you can tell me what you're going to be doing three months from now. Fair enough. It's real life we're talking right. about. The Muppets is real life. How, how are we supposed to know what's coming up? Well, you got a point there. But, you know, you get to see, but everyone's there, which is great. You get to see Fozzie and Gonzo and Kermit and all the behind-the-scenes stuff. So, you know, you never know what's going to happen. And it's real life. You get to see Fozzie and his girlfriend, which is sort of exciting. And, yeah, uh, that's, that's exciting. It's thrilling. And, uh, you know, all the makings of, uh, of Up Late with Miss Piggy. So it's kind, yeah. of, it's, kind of, it's kind of fun. It's a fun show. By the way, Miss Piggy, do you think you're going to be able to get along with Kermit? After all, he is your boss. He's the boss. He's the boss. Yep. He's the boss. Everybody says he's the boss. He, he is the boss. She's the boss. Who? That's what you should be Who's saying. She? Me. Oh, you? Yeah. Okay. It's my show. Yeah. They put they put my name in yep. the title. Up late with Miss Piggy. Right. But there's a lot of people behind the scenes who make yeah, the show happen. A lot you know. of people. A lot of people. All right. And finally, Miss Piggy, what's the most important thing you've learned about hosting a late night talk show? Um, 
Make sure you get enough sleep during the day so you can stay up during the interviews. That that has been a problem. Yeah, you have They're, dozed off a few I times. I have. Yeah. yeah. And Scooter, how about you? What have you learned about being involved with a late night program? Well, you know, I, I'm a team player. So for me, it's all about being with the team, being with the whole gang and making the show happen. Team so, Piggy! Team Woo! Piggy. Team Piggy. Well, you guys are terrific. It's called Up Late with Miss Piggy, all part of the Muppets Tuesday nights on ABC. Thanks, Scooter. Thanks, Miss Piggy. Break a leg, you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks. Thanks, Ross. Bye-bye.